Uh, this is Perry from Solid Tech, and in this short video I'm going to be showing you how to use the 2D to 3D toolbar by importing a DWG or a DXF file. So here I have a DWG file, I'm just going to drag this into SolidWorks 2012. Alternatively you can use the file open method. Here the imports options appear, and we're wanting to import this to a new part and import the 2D sketches. By continuing next we have the ability to select what units we're wanting to import the data in and select millimeters. We don't want to import any of this title block or text here. We're going to select from the selected layers section and untick anything that we're not going to convert into 3D. So here I'm just selecting the objects layer. By hitting the finish button, SolarWorks is going to prompt us for a part template. And once we've done that, all our entities from our DWG or DXF are put into one sketch. You might see uh, the 2D to 3D toolbar hovering around the place. Um, it may also be on the left hand side here of your screen. If you can't find it or don't know where it is, you can find it through the view toolbar section 2D to 3D. So once all the entities are imported <coughs> into SolidWorks, we can go through and clean up um, unwanted entities by selecting them and hitting the delete button. As you can see here, the only button not uh, grayed out is the front sketch. So first off, um, to what we have to do here is uh, specify what is going to be our front sketch item. So by selecting our entities, we can specify what one's going to be the front sketch. And once we've done that, we've got all the options to specify what are going to be the top sketches, the right sketch, or on the left sketch, and so forth. Then select this other entity here. Let's rotate a little bit. I'm going to specify this to be on the, be the right sketch. You're going to notice it's going to rotate into position there. As we can see at the moment, it's not uh, correctly aligned to this front sketch. So by selecting this entity here, holding down the control key, and hitting um, a entity on the front sketch, we can go ahead and use the alignment tool from the 2D 3D toolbar. You're going to notice that uh, there are a couple of sketches, uh, files or sketch features being made uh, while we do rotate the different sketches. Um, and now while we come out, we're going to notice that there's only two left out of that three. So now that we've finished the 2D to the 3D toolbar, what we can do from here is by going to the Features toolbar, we can go to uh, the Extrude Boss feature. I'm going to select this sketch. And because this is all aligned correctly, all I can do here for the direction is just double click on this entity and it's going to set that to be correct to where it needs to be. As you can see, we've got some other sketches in here. Now I'm wanting to keep those sketches from being extruded, so I'm just going to go on the Selected Contour section and click these out. So by selecting the green tick, and everything comes through there on our extrude. We can use all of these other features as it's just an ordinary part with imported entities. <clears throat> what we can do here to finish off is use the extruded cut, select our item, wanting to do a through all cut and there's an option here to, to do flip side to cut. If you're not familiar with flip side to cut, if I go to the preview, we're going to notice that if I was to have this unticked, we're going to only keep these items up here uh, above. So by using the flip to cut, it's going to cut anything outside of this sketch. Um, everything that's inside it is going to keep. So here we go and tick that. And there we go, we've cleaned up those edges. So that's a very short, quick demonstration of how to use the 2D to 3D toolbar by importing a DWG or a DXF file. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local support uh, engineer or contact Solid Tech support.